far and wide, sweet and simple, Jehovah knows that I've been simple, but if Jesus comes to take your hand, I won't let go, I won't let, god damn it. Oh, hey, what's up guys? I didn't know you were watching me try to learn this New Order song on the guitar. I hope you didn't hear me singing. It's extreme air quotes. I have extreme air quotes. would be like air quotes jumping off of a building attached to a bungee cord, drinking Mountain Dew. Yeah, I'm just hanging out, playing the guitar. Got nothing else to do. Uh, no, I just, it's four or something. It's four something o'clock on Friday. And I have been out of the house since before eight. Not abnormal for me. Um, except everything I had scheduled today either took longer than it should have or got pushed back. And it's all good stuff, all the worky stuff, because what, what don't I do or what do I do that doesn't involve work, I guess? I went over to City Center to Crystal's at Aria, which is uh, like the big fancy shopping complex in the, in the Daniel... Leapsking or whatever his name is, a uh, design building that's all crazy angled metal that's not a Frank Gehry building because Gehrys are more like twisted and and Leapsking is I'm I'm messing up his last name. I'm sorry, dude. Just, I'm sorry, famous architect guy. Uh, it's what you get for being from Norway or Sweden or wherever you're from. I was interviewing um, James Terrell, who you are probably familiar with if you're into f like the art world at all. He's like a, he doesn't like being called a light artist, so I'm not going to call him a light artist, but he's an artist that uses perceptual psychological concepts to mold spaces using light. I got to check out his installation um, that's already up inside of uh, the Louis Vuitton store of all places. You didn't, you didn't hear this from me. It's not really there. No, it is there. It's only available by appointment and a, basically invite only at this point, um, but... It's like one of the coolest friggin' things I've ever experienced in my life. Like normally installation art, I just, it's almost decorative to me. This is like experiential. This is very, uh, really cool. But he's got a, he's working on another installation that should be done in about a week. That's in city, city center proper. It's in crystals proper. Um, and it's going to kind of come off of one of the tram platforms and down in, down the escalators and anyway you're gonna have to experience it for yourself it's it's one of those things where he wants the viewer to see light instead of seeing the things that light shows us uh there's gonna be a lot more on this you'll be able to hear about in the near future maybe yeah i did that and then i got a manicure well i, I think they call it something else fancy at american mail it's called like the like like the finger chopping now i don't know what it's called but um basically it's a manicure First one I've ever gotten because I stopped biting my nails back in November. It's not really I bit my nails. It's that I personally groomed using my teeth. I've tried hypnosis to stop it. I wrote about that too. Um, that helped for a little while. But really the only thing that helped is the same thing that helps with anything that I do. And that's um, setting a deadline and stopping. So uh, that's what I did. It's working so far. But this lady... Uh, and she did like a hack job. I mean, they don't look that bad. And she did a pretty good job considering that my cuticles are usually dry or messed up. And I, it doesn't help that I still do my phone's ringing. My phone never rings. Let's take this call. So my manicure. I got a manicure. And um, she, 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 you know, she was getting the clippers under my nails. And she was grabbing skin with it. And I expected there to be some pain and stuff. And not that that hurt, but I'm like... She not even paying attention, and then she like lubed up my hands with lotion because she was rubbing them. She used way too much lotion, like an insane amount of lotion, and um, then she would try to operate like the little cuticle clippers with her lotioned up hands, like, and she had, like little bifocals. And this lady was a wreck. And I, anyway, she won't be seeing me again. I mean, I tipped her because you know. She still performed a service, and she didn't cut off any fingertips, but come on. Hopefully this will be a good start for me to kind of relaunch uh, my nails or whatever um, and not think about them so much because I obsess over them, and that was the problem. I was like constantly like, I have to do stuff to them. 
but I'm also like an eyelash puller and um, I don't know. I definitely have some OCD tendencies. I know that. It's fine. I mean, it is what it is. I'm sorry, guys. This was supposed to be a really focused, focused thing. And yeah, the problem is you caught me, um, you know, doing the thing. Maybe I'll break this out into two videos. Who knows? Anyway, I'm going to get out of here because... I gotta know, catch up on other stuff now that everything else got pushed back and I can't talk about the other stuff anyway because it hasn't happened yet. All speculative meetings and stuff, crap like that. It's boring. It's boring. It's Friday night. Go do something. Go party it up, guys. Don't drink and drive. Be safe. Oh, man. I hit that kind of hard. Sorry. Sorry, iMac. Don't be, don't be mad. Don't be mad.